Hi, this is Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you Google Music running on a Motorola Zoom and a Google Nexus S. Okay, so this is the Android 3.1 Honeycomb Music app, which has support for the Google Music service running on a Motorola Zoom. So the new and recent view, just like it was uh, prior to Google Music. Switch around to uh, albums and artist views, as you would expect. Now, the cool thing is the vast majority of this music is not mine. Um, I didn't preload it. Uh, Google actually supplies a lot of free tracks. Uh, not whole albums, but free tracks. When I first signed up for the service, I said I was interested in, I put a check mark for um, alternative music. And I got things like Suicidal Tendencies, Lanka, you know, Simple Kid, a bunch of different cool things, Ben Full Five. Um, cool tracks like that. It makes it really great for this demo, uh, but it's also just a good way to explore some new bands. So in any case, some of these tracks are indeed mine. And I can show you by going into settings here. And um, this is where you link up to a, your Google account, tell which account you're going to use. You can say hide unavailable music. And I'm going to do that so as you can see um, some things when I change and go into offline mode. I have caching turned on and I've told it to stream over both uh, Wi Fi and 3G and download via Wi Fi and 3G. Uh, this keeps it. Um, you can still are going to be using your data plan, so you've got to be careful about that, but if you, you can always put it on Wi-Fi only if you're worried about using too much data. Download queue will show what's being downloaded at the moment. In any case, uh, let's flip back here. And right now, we see everything because I'm currently online. Uh, let's just go play something. I'll randomly tap here and play this track. It'll take a second to buffer, and you'll see it, the data showing up as a white line down here at the bottom. And there it is, it's coming through now. Now I can pause that. What I'm going to do is show you what happens when I go offline. Going to go into airplane mode here. And now the tracks that show up are quite different. The ones that are highlighted are ones that have been uh, fully downloaded. Um, they were probably on the machine already, the tablet, as you can see. The ones that um, are kind of grayed out came from the Google Music service. So, for example, I did not have We Were Promised Jetpacks preloaded on this device, but it has downloaded and cached it so as I can still play it. Just because I've played it already, it cached it downloaded it so I can play it again even when I'm offline. Same thing for this uh, silver chair track or uh, say Oasis right here. Pre-downloading you see the white line all the way across. So pretty cool. So if you're playing through music, you know, you're going to have a lot of stuff even if you have to go offline, which is uh, pretty slick. Now I'm going to turn off airplane mode. So we're back online, and you'll see once the connection comes up, all these other albums come back up. Now once again I have access to all sorts of things. Even seeing some new things, uh, you can see this Bauhaus album just showed up. Uh, that was uploaded to the music service from my desktop PC. It's happening in the background now, so things are showing up real time as we use it. So I'm going to tap into this Bauhaus album, and I'm going to play one of these songs and it's going to start to buffer. You'll see it buffering here. It's playing and if I jump into settings, which I hit the wrong one, jump into settings and then go to download queue, you'll see that the tracks are getting downloaded in the background. Because this is my album so it's accessing and trying to download everything ahead of time because I own the entire album. Of course this also works on your phone as well so here is my Nexus S with the new Google Music uh, compatible music application and I can access the same library. This is also going to download over the network connection. It's buffering now. See it buffering here. And now we're playing the same track 
that I can find on the Zoom. It has the same kind of uh, functionality with downloading and caching and stuff like that. I'm back on the Zoom again and I'm going to load up the Block Party album here just to demonstrate that all of this, even though it's streaming, uh, being streamed real time from the Google Music service, it still plays in the background. I have access to the same controls here. Load up the next track exactly as if it were loaded onto the device itself and in a matter of minutes it will be. So say I don't have time to listen to Ben Folds 5 right now but I'm planning to do so in the future. I can tap on Ben Folds there and go into the menu here and say make available offline and then it's going to start to download it so as I can listen to it in the back when I'm offline or you know out of service area something like that. One last thing I want to do is I want to show you that you can take tracks that you don't even have on your device yet and you can still add them to a playlist. So here's an existing playlist that I had and I'm actually going to add this one to a new playlist. I'll test and now when I jump back here and go into the playlist view you're going to see the existing playlist I had with that track by Boys Like Girls and uh, also the new test one that I just created with that single track. And just like you can queue up things into a playlist ahead of time, you can also tell the music application to pre-download stuff. So I'm, I've never played this. I'm just going to tap here, do the available offline, and then you'll see that it shows up in the download queue. And lastly, before I wrap this up, I want to show you that this is all accessible from my PC through a browser as well. I'm going to pick something random. I've not played this Simple Kid album from here. So I'm going to click on it. And it's going to start buffering. And there's the song. Have the same kind of organizational access as you have on one of your devices. Which makes it pretty cool. So you have access to your music pretty much from anywhere. As long as you've got speakers on a PC or a laptop, you've got your phone, you've got your tablet, you can get to your music, which is pretty cool. So let's a quick look at the music beta by Google. This is Michael Oral from mobileburn.com.